The one that's really annoyed me, and this has literally annoyed me since I was like a toddler, is when people take a photo and they go, say cheese. And everyone goes, cheese. <laughs> what, 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 why are we behaving like that? That is not how people say cheese. This is how people say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> What's wrong with all of us? You're not in the supermarket pushing the trolley. Excuse me, mate, do you work here? I'm looking for the cheese. <laughs> I think it's all four for cheese. Go <laughs> on, salt and vinegar or cheese and onion. Perfect. They're very arrogant, aren't they, models? It's actually one of those runway things the other day. The, the way they walk. It's the most obnoxious walk I think I've ever seen anyone do. And this sort of thrust. Check me out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest, none of us would ever have the arrogance to walk like that in public. That's not actually strictly true. We all walk like that when we get a strike in 10-pin bowling. It's one of the oddest moments in life. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you are, you can be the hardest bloke on earth as you select the ball, walk down the lane in your normal walk, throw it down, do that leg thing for no reason at all. <laughs> if they all fall down, you're suddenly the campest man on earth. Well, who's the king of bowling? Hey? Right? Turns out it's me. Boom! Complete personality shift in one strike. But they're very clever little children. It's amazing how absorbent of information they are. And because they, they need to learn everything, that's what children have to learn everything in the world. But they, they learn like useless information as well, like adverts. They, they, we, don't, we know that adverts are rubbish, propaganda, just nonsense. But they think it's like factual information. The other day, my seven year old Lucas came up to me and said, Daddy, it's like, yes, darling? He said, Have you been accidentally missed old PPI? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you could be entitled to a refund of up to £3,000. Come on, Daddy, shut up! <laughs> Recently, my Ozzy, my four-year-old, slipped on the kitchen floor. I went over to see if he was okay, obviously. He threatened to phone injury lawyers for you. <laughs> Which told me he was entitled to 100% of the compensation. Because <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to watch a girl getting dressed. Not all of it, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. There are aspects of a woman getting dressed that have decidedly mixed results. <laughs> Tights, for example, is a very 50-50 affair. The first half is quite, I would say, almost erotic, a very enjoyable spectator sport. The lower leg, let's focus on the lower leg for now. Sort of pointed toe, delicately scrunch up the tight, glide it neatly over the lower leg, lovely. Glide it over the other one, marvellous. But once the tights reach the halfway point... <laughs> this is where I suggest you leave the room, OK? Cos some shit goes on after that. I just tug at a crotch for like half an hour. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. And just when you think it's over, she carries on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Jesus, what are we doing up here now? <laughs> She's not walking around like a baby taking their first steps. <laughs> Sometimes she looks in the mirror and goes, no, these aren't right. Don't do it again! <laughs> Mixed results. Like high heels as well. Amazing when stationary. Sometimes you just stand there. What do you think of these new shoes, Michael? They're nice, aren't they? Oh my God. Those shoes are incredible. Yeah, I just bought them. They're really nice. I really like them. No, seriously, you look incredible in those shoes. I can't believe you married me. You're gorgeous. Come to me. Come to your husband. All right. <laughs> You know what? I'll come to you. Let's not spoil this. Jesus Christ! Mixed results. I try my best. I try to be a good dad, but I don't know. I don't have the answers. They've got a lot of questions, don't they, children? I just refer them to Google. Why is the sun like that? Why the moon? Why is it days? Why is it called Tuesday? Google it. <laughs> There's a question over there I can answer. He said, well, how many days in the month? I was like, I know that one. I actually know that one because of the song. If it wasn't for the song, I don't know how I would ever know how many days are in any particular month. I don't know how people live their lives, but I have to sing the Days of the Month song to myself every single month just to get to the next month. 30 days of September, April, June. And obviously, obviously, you stop at the month you're in. You don't sing the whole song. If it's September, you just go, 30 days of September. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good song. It's a helpful song. But it's probably got the worst last line of any song ever written. They couldn't seem to accommodate February into... <laughs> The rhyming structure. It's, like, it's got a caveat at the end of it. It's almost like someone's interrupted the performance. 
30 days in September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. <laughs> Except for February. Sometimes that's 28, sometimes that's 29, depending on whether it's a leap year, OK? <laughs> I'll have a caveat at the end of a song. All you need is love. You've got to consider food and shelter. There's other things that's <laughs> like. Yeah. I've got two children, Lucas and Oscar, Lucas with a C. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I gave them their names because I like their names. They're lovely names. But I didn't realise what it was going to be like. You actually basically, because they're seven and four now, and they don't do a thing I tell them to, <laughs> I shout the names they gave them. All day now, I just shout the names that I lovingly selected for them. Lucas, put that down, don't touch that. Oscar, don't hit your brother. Lucas, where's your other shoe? Oscar, look at me when I'm talking to you. Lucas, don't you dare talk to your mother like that. That's my life. <laughs> if I had have known what it was going to be like, I would have named them Hey and Oi. Would have been so much easier. <laughs> hey, don't, don't touch that. that. Oi, don't hit your brother. <laughs> they like Where's Wally. I don't know why. It's very boring. If you're not familiar with Wally, Wally's basically a, a little person in a stripy top, and you have to find him in a crowded scene full of other people in stripy tops, but there's only one Wally. It sounds quite boring, but my kids love looking for him. And it's great for my wife and I, because we can just open the book and go, you look for Wally. Well, we go and look for a life we left behind before we had you two. <laughs> then they just go, found him! We just turn the page. Good, find another one. Come on! But I, I have done something which I feel amazingly guilty about, and I don't want you to judge me by this, but I think it just highlights, you know, how stressful and tired you can become as parents. I coloured Wally in. Is that bad? <laughs> There's no Wally. They've been looking for 11 days. My wife and I went to Venice last weekend. We needed the break. I actually met the Queen. I met the Queen. I got invited to like a reception at Buckingham Palace. I just went and I shook her hand. It was, it was fun. It was an honour. It was probably the most exciting post I've ever received, you know, when I got the invitation in the post. Because most days, post is quite boring, you know, just bills and rubbish. But this day, something seems, seemed to be glowing in the pile. I was like, what on earth could this be? It was heavy when I picked up the envelope. Sort of had silk woven into the fabric. My name was written in fountain pen, calligraphy. The M just went on forever. <laughs> this is the most exciting words I've ever got. I turned it over, there was actually a seal on it, a red wax seal. I was like, oh, I'm going to Hogwarts. I was so excited. <laughs> Children, <laughs> daddy's a wizard. <laughs> Go to Medi Amos! <laughs> tell you what's really bugging me at the moment. It's people who have the same name that is spelt completely differently. I am so sorry for all of you people, and I know there are many in this room tonight. It's such an odd, unnecessary waste of your life. Like Sarah, like Sarah with an H, or Sarah without an H. Sarah without an H is pronounced like this. Sarah. And with an H, Sarah. <laughs> but Sarah has spent the whole of her life going, it's Sarah, with an H, with an H, that's with an H. Is that, sorry, is that with an H? No, there's no H. Sorry, there's an H, you put an H, there's no H, there's actually no H. What a waste of life. Like Stuart, with a W, it's pronounced like this. Stuart, without a W, Stuart. <laughs> what are we doing? It's not like it's, what's your name? Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. <laughs> and you are? Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. <laughs> and this is my wife, Sarah. <sighs> oh. Stuart and Sarah. <sighs> what do you mean, Stuart? This is Stuart. Come and meet the others. It's uh, Stephen and Stepen. Do say hello. <laughs> this is Stuart. Stuart and Sarah. <sighs> Stephen and Stepen. Oh, if it isn't Jeff and Geoff, join the party. <laughs> Jeff and Geoff. And your wife, Jill and Gil. Jeff, I forget who's with who. Jill is with Geoff and Jeff is with Jill. This is uh, Stuart. Stuart. Stephen, Stepen and Sarah. <sighs> oh, if it isn't the three Shawns. Do join the party. We've got. Shaun, Seen, and Shaun. Come on in! <laughs> Shaun, Seen, and Shaun! This is Stuart, Stuart, Stephen, Stepan, Jeff, Geoff, Jill, Gill, and Sarah. <sighs> what a waste of life! <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> but the truth is, I haven't been able to get fixed. I've had a lot of injuries. I've, had, I've hurt myself a lot this year. Don't feel sorry for me. I tore my calf. I've had an operation on my knee. I dislocated my shoulder last year. I actually saw the same guy for my um, knee and my shoulder. I didn't expect to, a specialist. Very good doctor, I can recommend him. He helped my shoulder. 
Then I went to the hospital with my bad knee, and I opened the door, it was the same guy sitting behind the desk. I went, hello? I said, oh, I know you, I know you. I said, yes, how's your shoulder? It's good, huh. really good, thank you. Oh, you really helped that, it's really, it feels fine. But I, I've, I'm here for my knee, I've hurt my knee. I'm like, have I come to the wrong room? He went, no, no, I do shoulders and knees. Now, obviously, as you can appreciate in these circumstances, it's very difficult not to say, and toes. <laughs> but he hadn't heard the rhyme. What kind of a lunatic? What kind of person? I thought everyone knew the rhyme. He just went, no. <laughs> I do shoulders and knees. Knees and toes. No, I don't do toes. Do you have a problem with your toes? I could recommend someone to help you with your toes, a toe specialist. No, I was just wondering, because you do shoulders and knees, you do knees and toes. No, I don't do toes. What about heads? Why would I do heads? There's no joints in the head. I'm a joint specialist. I do shoulders and knees, knees and toes. I don't do toes. What about eyes and ears and mouth and nose? How many things are wrong with you? I do shoulders and knees, knees and toes. Get out! 